So how do you think that power dynamic shifts? Let's talk about it within a relationship, for example, right? Let's say, uh, like you said, people leave after right. a certain amount of time or whatever, but does that mean like women shouldn't have any cryptocurrency? They shouldn't vote. They shouldn't have anything. They should just lock them in the closet, put them in the ground. Well, no, I'm, Burka. Not saying, Burka. I'm, not, Burka. I'm not saying that, but I think we just got to stop having incentives for people to make the wrong decision. Right. right. Do you know what I mean? Like I got, there's always been like high IQ influential women in history. Like there is women that people traveled thousands of miles to get wisdom from now. Should they have, I don't know, but like, right. <laughs> but, but they did, you know what I mean? But it's like the exception doesn't make the rule. Right. And my issue is we have all of these incentives for women to do the wrong thing. Like you're basically taking us when we're at our worst. We are the worst versions of ourselves and we're in a breakup. Okay. Mm. And you're saying you can throw an abuse allegation and mm. the law will back you up. I found out family court, it's based on a balance of probabilities. You don't even need evidence. You guys, I'm wow. sure you know this, yeah, yeah. but, but I was like, what? <laughs> this is, this is, and in the UK, you get a free lawyer if you accuse someone of abuse. Really? What? Yes. <laughs> abuse victims get free lawyers. There's all of these incentive programs. Yeah. Like if you pay women to be single mothers, we're going to do it. And it doesn't even sure. necessarily mean, well, I mean, it seems like left to our own devices. We are kind of bad people, <laughs> but so what, what would you say? Do you think it's mm, through the media that this is being promoted or you think that everywhere, has, like, I think no. the corporations promote it because they just want us to keep swiping. Yeah. And well, then well, they didn't buy a lot of shit. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And then on top of that, the family unit, I think it, cause it punishes men for doing the right thing. A traditional mm. family is like what we want. Right? right. But if the woman takes home or stays home, you know, we just saw what happened to Crowder, right? Yeah, right. Now he's an abuser, emotionally abused. Like, it's like we punish men for doing the right thing. And I, I thought about how they worded the law. It's like the, the parent who spends the time with the most kid, like, gets the kid, which right. isn't, like, sexist. Mm. But I was like, wait, don't you want the men to provide and work? Right. And so it's like he's doing the right well, thing. Well, they just use him as a paycheck in that regard, right? <laughs> Yeah. yeah. And so I'm like, okay, if we have a contract, like if me and you are in a contract and I'm paid to leave and you lose everything, it, if it you sucks. leave, then it's like, okay, it's going to change the whole dynamic of right. our relationship because um, you're always going to be trying to make me happy. Mm. And that's why we have all of these or like happy. Yeah. fucking angry as shit. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So then it's like happy wife, happy right. life. It's cheaper <laughs> to keep her. Like we get all these. And like the fake abuse stories was like the biggest red pill for me. Oh my gosh. I could not believe because all these girls would come on my show and I was like, okay, there can't be that many abusive men. Like there were right. so many chicks saying they were raped, they were abused, they were this, they were that. Yeah. And so then someone in the comments was like, no, you need to ask more questions. And I started asking, did you file a police report? Tell me exactly what happened. And there are all these, these like bullshit ass stories. Like right. one girl was like holding on to a door when he slammed it. And that was abuse. Well, like, it happens with sports players all the time. Kind of like we were saying about winning the lottery when, when and they come quick into money, right? They're just like, uh, and they try to start families they, right away. They try to get into stuff too soon because they're so busy with their daily lives. They, yeah. they, they teach full classes to these football players now. I'm like, girl, it, make sure you flush the condom. I mean, this is like- yeah, we, Deion, we, Deion Sanders was mm -hmm. one of the first ones to do that. I forgot who he brought in, but he brought in, I think it was a porn star or something like oh, that. Oh yeah, I, I can't remember the porn star he brought in, but she like laid it out like how this is how we this is how we trick off on you guys. This is how we like yeah. we get you to like he yeah. brought in stuff. um who's that chick that you had on with uh oh Brittany Renner Brittany Renner, Brittany Renner. Yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 she like had a master class <laughs> yeah well, well saved their you know these guys are gonna be making yeah. a lot of money and they need to protect themselves well and I realized I was like oh my gosh the law like backs us up and I was like how is this all legal mm. like I just couldn't like there's no punishment for trapping a guy yeah, there's none. I was mm. like, but it's, you know, if a guy forced us, like stuck a gun to our head and forced us to get an abortion, everyone would be like, that's the worst guy ever. Yeah. So it's shotgun marriages and shotgun shotgun abortions. Yeah. <laughs> abortions and stuff. Oh, yeah, that's funny. I never even thought of that equivalent. <laughs> I mean, what is it? It's that classic red pill thing, you know, getting a divorce. I mean, like a divorce is rape for men, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, force rape, no, not the other well, way. <laughs> and the more interviews I've done, it's so sad. Like yeah. it's, and I think it's even worse for the average guy because, like, really rich guys kind of like bounce. Like that's why you'll see like these like top like ten percent earners, mm. and they're like, whatever, my wife can take half, and they will bounce back. But I'm like, for the average guy that works like 20, 30 years, he's not 
probably going to do more than whatever job he's mm-hmm. done. He's made average money, you know, because the average guy makes forty five thousand dollars in his twenties. Uh, for it's like 40 45 and i know he peaks at like 55 at 70 that's yeah. the average guy in america yeah. Yeah. so i'm like okay that guy's never gonna recover and it's like you see these guys the life it's so sad Crypto. the life is like sucked out of their eyes yeah and it's like there's some of them i would not be surprised if they killed themselves yeah. in the next like right. year because like there's one guy who's a mile away from his kids he can't see him mm. a mile and i'm just like how is this shit legal right yeah. i mean it, i mean yeah, <laughs> take their DAO votes. No coins for them, right? But I mean, you gotta get a DAO going for this. 